Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I am Sapphire. Welcome back. Happy Sunday. So today is Sunday, the 4th of February. Happy Sunday, everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for opening up the video on today. Um, so today I'm going to talk about why my hair not growing. Or Sapphire, my hair is at the same length. I don't know what's going on. I do this, I do that. I'm going to tell you why, okay? So, but before I do that, I want to thank you all again for tuning in. Also, for my new subscribers, thank you guys so much. I got eight more new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you all. And those of you who haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button back there, okay? Press the bell. Make sure that your notifications are on so you won't miss any videos. Now, I'm here Monday or Tuesday, you'll see my videos on Mondays or Tuesdays, or you'll see my videos Thursdays or Fridays. Sometime, if I'm busy, you may see one Saturday. I haven't done a video on a Saturday in a long, long time. But if I don't get a chance to do it throughout the week, you probably will see it on a Saturday, probably in the morning or maybe the afternoon, somewhere along there, okay? But um, I, you will see me Monday or Tuesday or Thursday, Friday. Okay. So I'm going to talk about that on today. Okay. There are a few things that you need to look out for if you feel that your hair is not growing, but your hair is definitely growing. It's just not retaining the length that you would like to have. Okay. So a lot of us, our hair don't get over our collarbone. Our hair don't get over our shoulders, you know, and it takes a lot of work to do that. You just have to be more consistent whenever you're doing your hair. You have to be mindful of the things that you're doing and what your hair is laying on. Okay, so that's what I'm going to remind you of again today. Okay, first and foremost, you want to make sure whenever you wear your hair down, I know everyone likes to wear their hair down every once in a while, you know, to let people see, okay, I've done this, you know, and I, I came this far, you know, and that's really exciting. It makes you feel good. The work that you do, all the effort and work that you did do to it and the patience that you have, and you're starting to see some good results and you want to show everybody, right? So if you're not wearing a gentle fabric and you're wearing something like wool or anything like that, it's just going to take that off. Even your scarves, you know, a lot of a lot of people like to wear scarves when they get dressed, you know, or or necklaces that have those clamps. Sometimes those clamps can break your hair off. The scarves that you wear can break your hair off. The coat that you wear can break your hair off. The shirts, blouses that you wear, the blazers, that can break your hair off if, you're, if your fabrics are not um, gentle on your hair, okay? So keep that in mind. Write that down, okay? Fabrics, okay? Now, I know everybody probably don't wear silk or satin every day. It does make you sweat. I understand that. Um, I do sometimes wear silk and satin, well, satin a lot. I do wear a lot of satin there on my job, but silk, no, not too much. Not too much. It has to be sleeveless. I can't wear it short or long sleeve. It makes me sweat. I, but in any case, you want to be mindful of the fabric that you wear. Secondly, dryness. We all know that if your hair is dry, it's going to break off, right? Sometimes it causes split ends, okay? So make sure that you're keeping up with your moisture, your moisture uh, cycle. If you don't know your moisture cycle, pay attention to the hair. See how long you can go before it gets totally dry. And that's when you know to moisturize and seal again. Mine is every three days when I'm stretching. When I'm further in my stretch after 15, 16 weeks, I have to do it every other day. That's mine. I don't wait till it get completely dry, but I'm keeping up with that. So the ends of my hair does not come down. And my, the ends of my hair look pretty good. I have my hair down today because I'm doing a hot oil treatment. Today is Sunday, and this is the time that I do my hot oil treatment. So my hair look pretty good today, you know. And, I mean, the ends of my hair look pretty good. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to take care of that and do a hot oil treatment. This is how I um, keep up with my hydration and moisture. This hot oil treatments give me lots and lots of hydration. This is what I like. My hair likes it too, okay? So learn your moisture cycle, keep up with that, okay? Um, thirdly, conditioning. Now, I talk about conditioning all the time because back when I was in deep conditioning, when I found out deep conditioning kept my hair hydrated, I never stopped using it. And I told you guys before, if it was like pudding or yogurt and I could eat it, I would have, I would eat conditioner all the time, <laughs> for real. <laughs> I would eat conditioner all the time because 
Hair loves to be conditioned. I'm not going to, you know, it loves to be conditioned. We have to learn that. So whether you do it twice a month or once a month, deep condition often, okay? I promise you, if you start deep conditioning often, all right, and being consistent with it, you're going to see some major changes in your hair. Lastly, styling. We all like to wear protective styles, okay? We all do, but whoever installs your braids or whoever, like cornrows, whatever else is out there, um, make sure that they're not doing it too tight. I know I've seen this lady here on YouTube a few years back. Someone did her hair. Her hair was so doggone tight. She had a headache. She started crying, okay? So I don't know if they took their hair down or not, but her braids were too doggone tight. That's too tight. So all this twisting causes friction and it makes the hair break off. And when you take those down after four weeks or maybe five weeks, you have a gall of hair because the braids are too tight or they've been in there too long, one or the other. Because some people keep their hair, keep their hair in braids for like four or five months. You know, that's too long. Okay. But make sure that the braids are not installed too tight. Buns are good. I wear buns all the time. I think they're elegant, whether I'm dressed up or dressed down, especially in the summertime, I will rock a bun to death. You hear me? I mean, I will, I don't care how fresh my relaxer is. I will rock a bun to death. I love buns. I really love buns. They are very cute. They really are. Okay, so I hope and pray that this information would help you whenever it comes to your hair not growing. You think your hair is not growing. Your hair is growing. You just need to retain that length and know how. So everything that I mentioned here, okay, write that down. Write it down, okay? Fabric can cause your hair. If you're not wearing the, the right fabric, it can cause friction on the hair. It can make your hair break and also cause this um, split ends, okay? Dryness, we all know dryness causes breakage, of, okay? So you want to make sure that you're keeping up with your moisture. You know, learn your moisture cycle, okay? Styling, make sure that those, whoever installed those braids for you guys, make sure that they're not pulling them, put them, put them in too tight, okay? You in charge of that. If you feel it, say, uh-uh, that's a little too tight. Go a little looser. You get what I'm saying? And lastly, make sure that you deep condition often, okay? This will help keep your hair hydrated. You can also mix some conditioner, rose water, glycerin in a little spray bottle and put that on your hair as well to keep that, your hair, you know, keep it juicy so it won't dry out. Trust me, that will help you, okay? Or you can mix your own up. I used to mix water, oil, and conditioner in my little spray bottle. You guys remember that? And I that's that's what I wore. I put it on my roots and the ends of my hair. And then I went behind with my coconut oil or my, my apricot oil. I rubbed it in and that lasts me. You hear me? That really lasts me and it really helped my hair in the summertime, especially with the ap apricot oil because it pulls the, the moisture from the atmosphere right into my hair. My hair never dried out. Never, never, never dried out. Okay? So use the right products on your hair. Use the right um, um, moisturizer on your hair and it will last. But you have to be consistent. Don't just do it one time and then come back and do it another month and say, this stuff don't work. It does, but you're not being consistent. Okay. Thank you guys so much. I hope and pray that you enjoyed the rest of your weekend. And Lord's will, you will see me in the next video. God bless you. Mwah. Bye.